I'm going to show on the screen what uh, caused me to want to um, this have this talk. Uh, Jordan Peterson wrote a very cryptic tweet uh, that said, God is the mode of being you value the most as demonstrated or manifested in your presumption, perception and action, which I don't even know what he's talking about. But you said that you are basically talking about quote unquote gods in the pagan sense at best angels or principalities there's infinitely more beyond that basic hierarchy of being is there a mode of being which unites all possible modes of being the the uh the difficulty that that i see in what jordan has been saying especially when he talks about uh he talks about how basically he's saying like god is your axiom right like it's yeah. the it's the it's the it's the it's the mode of being which which is behind all your actions kind of like the invisible uh, thing which motivates you to act, right? Yeah. Um, now the problem with that is is that if you only see it that way, then it 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 does it is those it is the gods in the in the small g sense, right? The, in the sense that you know you could have uh, anything could be your god, right? Yeah. Anything could be the thing that motivates you. You, yeah. you your desires, your passions. It could be money. <laughs> it can be sex. It could be it could be uh, it could even be a virtue, right? It could be uh, mercy. It could be yeah. uh, compassion. It could be. It could be different. It could even be virtues. But even if it is virtues, it's still a lowercase g. That's why I said. Yeah. Okay. At Pr best, it's, it's an yeah. angel. It's a principality, right? So you have the virtues. You have the angels, which are the intermediaries. Let's say, you know, in the yeah. between you and and the infinite good, right? Yeah. But the idea is God in the Christian sense, or God in 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 a monotheistic sense. Is not just a god, right? Is is the is the right? It's it's the principality of principalities. It's that which all things come together in, right? It is it is the it is in, even beyond being in terms of especially orthodoxy. It's beyond being, and so all modes of being, uh, let's say all modes of positive being, cohere into uh, God, right? Yeah. And in terms of virtue, we would say that that is love right yeah. that love is the highest it's the one which is the life of god itself because it is unity and multiplicity which yeah. are in harmony okay and so and so but so it's not arbitrary it's like there is a reason why we talk about god the way we do because in a way it unites all those things together yes uh but so so it, but it's just important it's important to make those distinction because you know that one of the the new atheist argument has always been well which god do you believe in and then it's like do you believe in thor do you believe in this and it's like yeah, yeah. yeah whatever Spaghetti like monster fine whatever, whatever. Yeah. like i it's like i believe in thor i mean i don't mind thor he's a principality <laughs> like he represents something right he's the god of yeah. war he's the he's the god of thunder he, he his characteristics coalesce into something which is something in the world like it's a real it's a real you know but it that's not when, when we talk about the absolute that's not what we're talking about. And yeah. it's not just Christians. The Neoplatonists were talking about that. And and Jews are talking about that. Muslims are talking about that. Zoroastrians are talking about that. And Hindus even are talking about that. Yeah. You know, when yeah. you talk about Brahma, it's like it's Brahma is not just another god. It's not just some god yeah. with an elephant head or you know how they make fun of the Hindu god. It's like you don't <laughs> you can't yeah. you can't confuse those two things. Um Anyway, yes. it's just I, it's it's a long road, especially to talk about this stuff. With, so, with scientists, so, yeah, with scientists. But <laughs> it seems like one way of interpreting what you're trying to get at with Jordan is saying, reserve a space for mystery. If you call something God, always recognize that it's not anything that you can actually think of and sensibly touch is a mode of being. Right. But there, but and so it's important, or the the sacred life is to is to have like a a space reserved for that which is infinite, even if you can never attain that. Right. It's and still and in a way you the can, hand is always, always open for it. Yeah, I mean, and, and so I mean, in the in the orthodoxy, we always say that you can be united with God. You, they even say things like you can become God, but not in essence. Like you can't, you cannot, you cannot fully be united with the essence of God. So there's always something which is beyond. There's always a mystery which is beyond any level of attainment that any saint can, can. And so it, it's actually an eternal dynamism, right? Okay. And so there's this eternal movement towards kind of uh, towards the infinite. Like there's no, there's no stopping. It's not a stasis. 
like sainthood in orthodox is not stasis it's not like right you reach you reach you know the the beatific vision yeah you're there you know you're you're, you're sitting on a cloud yeah, yeah, yeah. People. <laughs> and i imagine it um but i think i think that that's yeah to me that, that but with, with the great thing though the great thing about what jordan is doing and hopefully i'm hoping that some people are starting to understand it and, and if they do it's going to be a it's going to be a huge deal is when he says that those principalities are personalities that's a big deal that's a big deal for Wait. people to understand what we're talking about yeah, when we talk about exactly. angels what we're talking about when we talk about this hierarchy of principalities yeah when the notion that consciousness becomes a that consciousness is a uh, is a constitutive element of the universe and it's actually the constitutive element into which we can engage with the universe okay right? yeah okay right yeah. and so the way we're those elements in. of yeah. those elements of consciousness actually kind of can scale up and that's that's a really interesting place that we are that even i even even someone like sam harris he tweeted out one time a podcast of a ma mathematician who was talking about huh. uh consciousness as different at different levels that he's kind of he thinks that he's mathematically is able to show consciousness at different levels of reality. And so even like a city, let's say, would have a form of consciousness and then you could keep going up uh, in, into that, into that, uh, into a hierarchy of consciousness. And I was like, well, you know, when God, when in the Bible it talks about the angel of Philadelphia or the angel of these different yeah, cities. Exactly. Like, yeah, it, cities have our beings, right? Cities have yes. our networks and their beings. And so it's not it, it, it's i think it's it's going to become hopefully i'm hoping that it's going to become more palatable for people to understand yes. it that yeah. way uh yeah. and so and then then it's it's very then it becomes very close to to kind of a yeah. traditional understanding of how the world lays itself out yeah i i think that's one of the things that jordan's doing especially when he dukes it out with sam and uh weinstein brett weinstein's involved in in that discussion and and trying to figure out uh, some sort of translator from the scientific mindset to the religious mindset and show how they are actually, th they're good for each other.